Okay, let's deal with the vocabulary lists. So there's going to be five different pages, and we'll start with page 120. So on page 120, we have the verbs moneo, timeo, tereo, abeo, that are there, four verbs of the um, of the second conjugation, and you recognize them by the first principal part, right? E-O ending right here, although you already, already are told by the number two that's next to it, that's second conjugation. So, but the E-O gives it away. The reason why we don't have any principal parts next to moneo, tereo, and abeo is because they are ending as uh, we expect, moneo, monere, monui, monitus, okay? Tereo, terere, terui, teritus. So that's why we don't have anything next to them. However, they give the principal parts for timeo because there are only three, not four. So they tell you that by putting timere, timui, but not putting t uh, fourth principal part because it doesn't exist. Uh, moneo means to warn, to advise. If you're monitoring a situation, you are standing there as a warning that if something doesn't go right, you will act um, accordingly. Uh, also, the word money comes from it, and it's a very interesting story that the the money in Rome was being minted um, at a mint <clears throat> that was next to uh, next to the temple of Juno, and Juno back then, the queen of gods had different titles. She was Juno the Terrible, Juno the Avenger, and she also had Juno the Advisor. So her name was Juno Moneta. That that means Juno the Advisor. And the mint where the uh, the money was being struck or being made uh, was right next to the Temple of Juno. That's why we called whatever came out of the mint uh, what is related to the Temple of Moneta, Juno Moneta, money. That's how we got it. Uh, timeo, you get the word, the, the word timid from it. If you're timid, that means that you are afraid of something. Uh, also, the word timorous, that, um, that means kind of scared, frightened. Uh, tereo means to terrify. You see, it's another word of fearing, but um, being afraid and being terrified, there's different degrees of fear there. Tereo is the, the being frightened out of your pants kind of uh, fright, compared to timeo is just more regular kind of fear. We also have a verb in Latin that's very, or it's a fear that is um, induced by reverence, okay? So the healthy kind of fear, fear of God, fear of people to whom you owe respect and so on. And then we have the word arma, armorum at the bottom. Arms, uh, that referring, referring to weapons. A place where you find weapons is an armory, okay? So that's a word that comes from it. Now notice that by the principal parts, you should be able that uh, the word arma, armorum is always plural, okay? You don't have a singular. And if you look at an A ending right here in the first principal part nominative, it tells you it's neuter plural. So you may want to add this next to the word uh, armorum, neuter plural. All right, let's move on to uh, page 125. That's where you have your next list of vocabulary, page 123, 24, and page 125 over here. So uh, the pronouns we have right here, ego, mei, which has two forms of the pronouns. That means I. If you see that someone has a big ego, that means that he is thinking only about I, right, about himself or herself. Then um, if you are egotistical, that means that you only think about yourself, you're self-centered, okay? Nos, uh, nostri means we, video, videre, vidi, visus. You see, they give you the principal part for video because it's not as expected, o, ere, ui, itus. So video is one of the many irregular second conjugations. So you must learn these four principal parts very carefully um, for video. You know, if you talk about video games, that, that are games that you can see. Uh, if you're having a vision, look at the fourth principle part, that means that you can see something. You are visionary, okay? Um, so that's something that is interesting for you to uh, to note. And then the word saipe means often. Uh, not much to say about often. Let's move on to page 128. Page 128. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Page 126, page 127, uh-oh, it's scrambled. Let's see if I can get it back like this. Sorry for the delay. I wish I could play some little music of entertainment. There we go. Uh, page 128, <clears throat> we have the second list of uh, pronouns plus more. So two for you, voice for you, plural. Okay, you all compared to two, you singular, referring to one person you're addressing. Uh, teneo, tenere, tenui, tentus, again, irregular principal part, to hold uh, a tenet, you know, the tenet of the Catholic faith is what you hold on to 
as uh, as very important the tenets okay if a situation is um unten uh, untenable it means that it's uh, you can't you can't um you can bear it it's you can't you can hold on to it it's it's too too hard to um to handle okay so teneo tenere ten we tend to to hold um the, the example that you have below napoleon napoleon possessed a tenacious um will that means that you know he was really um, very tough. He had grit. He could hold on tight to uh, to the situation and make the most out of anything that was coming his way. Uh, moveo, movere, movi, movi, motus. Yes, the word movie comes from that because movie is about moving um, images. Motus. You look at this principal part. You can uh, think maybe about emotion or em emotion. Um, something that moves you, right? What is being moved in you are your emotions. Um, tamen is nevertheless, and neque means not, or um, nor, or and not. Okay, it's the same thing as et non. So that's for that. Uh, review vocab at the bottom, you have the word imperator. It can mean different things, the commander in chief, general, or emperor, which is pretty different for meanings right here. But let's move to uh, page 133 for the next list. Okay. Uh, let's see, 133, so that's 130, 131, 132, 133, scrambled again. On page 133, what do we find? We find a few words, is e a id, the um, uh, pronoun right here uh, that we have talked about in the grammar lecture. Make sure that you look at this as in Latin because you might be tempted to see the word is in a text and say, oh, that's the word is in English. No, it's not, nothing to do with it at all. It means he <coughs> or it, okay? Sustineo, sustinere, sustinui, sustentus. Can you tell this is a second conjugation verb? Yes, you can because of the EO ending for the first principal part. Nothing to say about this. And then fines, finium. Uh, notice also with this a word that we are dealing with a word that's always plural, okay? ES ending right here. It's a nominative plural. IUM is the genitive plural. What declension is it? Can you tell? Which declension has an ES uh, ending for the nominative plural? It is third. <clears throat> That's correct. So the word finis, IS, the singular word, doesn't mean territory. It means the end. Okay? Now, if you put end in the plural in English, you get the ends, like the ends of the world. What's the ends of the world? Well, that's the borders. That's the territory of the earth. So it makes sense that in, English, in Latin, the word finis in the plural means <clears throat> the territory. Okay? So we have seen the word finis before. And finally, page 137, for the last section of vocab right here, with sui, uh, for himself, herself, itself, themselves. We've seen that before. Etiam, that means also. And finally, the word enim, that is a conjunction. That means for, not to be confused with the preposition for, or the, the uh, dative uh, indirect object to him or for him. So enim for. Um, he was happy for... He had many blessings. That's the meaning of four right here. And that concludes our vocabulary and that concludes our makeup rainy day class. So again, I hope you have um, gone through all these videos at least once. Rewound those of them that were kind of unclear. And if you still have questions after you listen to these videos a couple times and study the stuff in your book, make sure you contact me. Email, call and then I will clarify what needs to be clarified. Okay, hopefully it will be sunny uh, next time, and we will meet again in person at the library. Have a good two weeks. Bye-bye.